Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce from BIS Media, and today I'm here to show you the best way that you can clean your physical media disc. Uh, this will apply to Blu-rays, DVDs, 4K UHDs, CDs, Super CDs, uh, even laser disc if you choose to <laughs> still play those as well. Uh, the principle is basically still the same with all of these uh, all these different physical media formats. And first of all, you're going to need a dirty disc. So I have Lone Ranger here. I just bought this used, and I always clean my disc before actually playing them and testing them just to make sure that it does work correctly. And if not, I can always return it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this one. And this one has a lot of like lint, and it also has, uh, it looks like some fingerprints all over it. So I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side. So I have a dirty disc, of course. That's what you'll need first. Next up, you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. This one is 70%. I've seen some people swear by 90%, or I believe there's a 40% different option. Honestly, I don't think it really matters, just as long as it's something that's going to be able to evaporate quickly. Uh, rubbing alcohol also should work as well, as that also evapor evaporates quickly as well. Um, a lot of people say just use soap and water. I honestly don't like using soap and water, because obviously if you don't dry that off well enough, that could damage your player. So you got to be really careful with that. I personally would not do that. Next up, you're going to need a nice clean microfiber uh, cloth here. And then you're just going to need some cotton balls, so nothing fancy. So let's go ahead and get this started. And we're going to first grab our rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol here. And we're going to grab out a new cotton ball. Set that off to the side. And you want to get this pretty damp. You don't want to leave it super dry. Pretty good amount there. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our disc. Then we're going to go from the inside out, just like this, all the way around it. You can technically do circles, like go circular if you wanted to, but I would probably not, especially if there's a lot of dirt on here, because it does unfortunately scratch it if it is like some heavy dirt, like someone spilled soda or something like that. It's going to grind it down into those layers, so you have to be really careful of that. And you don't want that to happen. And then you want to go ahead and grab your microfiber cloth. And we're going to go just from the inside out, just straight out. Not circular motions, just straight out like this. And there we go. There's still some lint and stuff on there too. It's going to really depend on your cloth. Unfortunately, this cloth has been used a few times here, but it is clean. <laughs> you might have to do a couple of do-overs if that is the case. And so this one does have a little bit of lint. I'll probably go over it a couple more times, but the principle is going to be the same. Just you kind of cleaned it up, but just keep going over it. Now, if you do have some dirt on the very top, so let's say this layer had a lot of stuff going on it, you could still use this same cotton ball with the same alcohol that was already on there and just kind of gently go over it. You have to be really careful going over the top layer because it actually will take off a little bit of the label itself if you're not careful. And then you can just kind of go all around. It doesn't matter if it's circular, if it's at the top, just to kind of clean it up because there will be some greasy fingerprints that you'll occasionally run into if you do buy something used. So there we go. There is the disc. Like I said, it really just kind of depends on your cloth. This cloth is not brand new. I've used it several, several times for all kinds of different uh, home theater things, physical media, you name it. I've probably used this cloth and it just has a a buildup of lint, so obviously it's going to still leave some lint all over the disc. It's always hard to get it perfect, but it is clean. I'll go over it again, but like I said, that is the best way to do it, guys. So that being said, leave me a comment down below if you are still a physical media collector and you're always having to clean your disc. Is this the way you do it? Because I honestly think this is the proper way. I've seen some other people do other things like soap and water. And leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, make sure to hit that like button if this did help you. Hit that subscribe button for more physical media content, home theater content, video game content, you name it. I probably have it on the channel. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.